Good afternoon, Mary Joy. Good afternoon, Madam. Okay, Mary Joy, can you tell me about yourself? Um, my name is Mary Joy Estacio, 36 years old. I have a three kids, one boy and two girls. I am a married and and then... Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Okay. Why do you want to work as a maid? Uh, I want to work abroad because to support my family, especially to my three kids. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because I, I choose Malaysia because I know Malaysia is a very good country. Okay, so how are you qualified this job? I know I qualify this job because I know I I am a hard working. Okay. What was your recent working experience? I worked as before in Singapore, one year as a maid. Okay. Um, may I know what your educational level is? Uh, okay. May I know what your educational level is? College undergraduate. Okay. So, do you have experience of taking care of babies? Uh, yes, I experienced with last in Singapore. I took care, I took care one month old babies. Okay, so how about elderly people? In the Philippines, I. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of elderly senior citizen people? No, no experience. No. Okay, do you have yes. any other special skills? Yes, madam. Like? Like, wash the car, cleaning, ironing, all of the above, madam. Okay, so are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, madam, I'm willing to learn. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, madam. Currently, are you still working now? Yes, madam. Currently? Are you still working now? No, madam. Do you know how to cook? Yes, madam. I know how to cook in Singaporean food, like spinach, and then how to fry kung fu, how to steam fish, pork soup with corn, chicken soup. That's all, madam. Okay. Are but you I'm aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? All of the above, madam. Okay, so you can do all of the above. Yes, madam. If ever I can do it. selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your children? My husband. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, madam. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, madam. Okay, so if ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Um, yes. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, madam, I agree. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, madam. I follow all the rules. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years. Can you describe for me your attitude? Uh, loving, caring, especially I am, a, I am a patient. And then hardworking. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Assure, I, I assure you to, to work hard, very hard, and then and I assure you to, to follow all the rules, and then I as assure you to, to, patient, to patient all people in the house, especially my employer. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, madam. I, I, I promise.
Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, madam. I promise. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, madam. I promise. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, madam. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, madam. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, madam. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No, madam. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No. Do you smoke? No. Have you undergone any operation before? Like gate. When was that? 2010. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, madam. I'm fit to work. Are you in any medication right now? No. Are you allergic with any food? No. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, madam. I prefer to work. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, madam. I prefer. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No. I'm, I'm Are not you afraid. afraid of dogs or other pets? Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? I'm not afraid. Okay, can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, madam, I promise. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? No. Okay, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what will you do? Uh, I said my money only, madam. If in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? I said my money only and then uh, I, because I have a work so I can finish my work. Okay. If in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Why they need to hire you? Uh, I assure to my employer I work very hard and then I take care the if I if I take care I take care all of them, especially with the house and then I work very hard. I clean all the bathroom to clean all the house and washing. Um, okay, that's so all. tell us about yourself again. Uh, I am a caring, loving, hardworking, and then especially I am a patient. Why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I chose in Malaysia because I know that Malaysia is a very good country. Okay, thank you very much, Mary Joy. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, thank you, madam. Okay.